Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and we're coming to you with another Lightboard lesson video. And today we're going to talk about some AFM policies, our firewall uh, manager policies, and how those can be turned on or off based on geolocation. And so we had a Dev Central user uh, a couple of weeks ago or so ask about AFM policies, and he and essentially he laid out the scenario where he said, "I've got some users coming in." Um, you know, to, to access my applications and some and certain user countries, uh, I want to have a certain AFM policy. But then if you're coming in from another country, then I want to have a different AFM policy, still accessing the exact same back-end web application. And so how do you do that? And so, uh, so we wanted to kind of go through a couple of steps on a solution um, uh, that, that, uh, that we came up with. So... Anyway, so let me draw a couple little, uh, couple little boxes here to kind of outline the scenario. So let's say you have clients coming in, and I'm going to put, uh, I'll put, you know, country number one up here, and then you know you got other, other clients coming in from country number two, and then maybe I'll do one last one, country, um, you know, other kind of thing, all maybe all others. All right, so. Here's your big IP right here, all right? So you got your, your big IP. So what we, what we established is, and, well, and then let, me, uh, let me write back here, these are your backend web application servers that everyone needs to access, all right? So this is your fancy, fancy web, you know, web app that you want everyone to have access to. All right, so country one, you want to have a specific AFM policy. Country two, you want to have a different AFM policy. And in country, like everybody else, you want to have a, a yet another AFM policy. And of course, you can add this and take away and whatever, however many layers you need, it doesn't matter. All right, so the solution that we came up with is we said, all right, first of all, we're going to have what we'll call a front door. And I'll just put, uh, I'll just call it front door um, VIP. So there's a virtual server here on the what we'll call a front door uh, VIP for the big IP. And then uh, and that will have associated with it an AFM policy. So I'm going to say AFM uh, policy number one. All right. And so what, what you want to use this AFM policy for, the way that you want to configure this AFM policy is all of your default kind of, you know, regardless of what country you come from, maybe there's some ports or IP addresses or whatever it is that you want kind of to apply to everybody no matter what. You want to put all that stuff on this front door um, AFM policy, you know, that, that's associated with the front door virtual server. And so, uh, so as people access your uh, web application, they're going to hit the, the IP address of, of this front door VIP. All right, but what you're going to do then is on this back side, I'll draw a couple of other, um, you know, uh, virtual servers, and I'll call this one, say, virtual server, uh, you know, C1, and then I'm going to call this one virtual server C2, and what this is is a virtual server that's associated then with all the people that are coming from IP address space from country number one. So essentially what, what these people are going to experience is they're going to have a connection into this front door virtual server and then I'll put a little dotted line through this back door virtual server and then on down in here to your web applications. Um, the same thing with country number two, they're going to come in and I'll put a little dotted line to this uh, virtual server for country number two and then they will also access that same pool of, uh, of, of web application servers on the back end. And then the country other, uh, what we said is they can come in the front door as well, but then they're just going to be routed. There's no need to, to stop them again uh, because everything that you want them to, be a, to, to have applied to them in terms of an AFM policy is gonna be captured on this front door virtual server. So then once they pass through what that would be, they can just access the web application uh, directly after that. There's no need to go through yet another uh, AFM policy. Okay, so let's look at countries one and two again. If you're coming from IP space, country one, access the front door virtual server, and then you get routed back to what we'll call a, an internal virtual server or a backdoor, whatever you want to call it, virtual server. But, but there's yet another virtual server back here um, that has another AFM policy applied to, a, applied to that. So I'm going to put AFM uh, policy uh, we'll call it, you know, C1 for this, and then AFM policy C2, say, for this virtual server. 
Um, so now the question becomes, well, how, how do you know who's coming from country one and country two and country, all the other countries or whatever? Um, and that is where, uh, for the solution that we developed, we created an iRule that we attached to this front door virtual server. So I'm going to put iRule right here, iRule, and then I'll say, uh, you know, front door, um, you know, iRule. All right. I won't go through the exact syntax of the iRule. We, uh, we can link to that, uh, you know, here in the, at the bottom part of this video, whatever. Uh, but, the, but the idea of the iRule is that uh, when, when the client accepted um, event happens, and you guys know that uh, iRules are all event-based or event-driven. So when the client event, uh, uh, client accepted event happens, then you're going to do a couple of things. You can use a where is command, where is, and the where is command based on the source IP address. So we're going to look at source IP. Let's see right there. All right, so we're going to look at the source IP of whoever's coming into this virtual server, and we're going to say where is. Now the where is command gives you a whole bunch of stuff based on the source IP. One of the things that it gives you is a country code. And so it also gives you... Um, you know, if you're at a state level or even a city, as much as, as much detail as it can give you, it will give you this whole thing. So what you can do is you can use the where is command, look at the source IP, uh, but then take out of that list of things, look at the exact country code. And that's going to be a two letter uh, code based on the country, which by the way, just a little nugget of, uh, of info, ISO uh, 3166 actually defines the country code so you can look up that to see, hey, what's, you know, I'm, I'm in country, the United States of America, what's the country code for that? ISO 3166 will tell you the two, the two letter code for all the different countries. Okay, so anyway, you can use the where's command based on the source IP address, you can pull out the country code and then you can do a switch on the country code um, and then you can just, you know, take action. So switch if country code equals country one, then you're going to use, uh, and this is kind of a cool command that's in some of the some of the newer versions of Big IP. There's a command called virtual, and I'll just write it right out here. Virtual, that's the actual command. Virtual, and then I'll just put this right here, and I'll put vs name. All right. So you can use the virtual command, and then you put the virtual server name. So what what the virtual command does is it says, hey if all these things are correct and if, if all these uh, events line up just right, then use the virtual command and you can send it to the name of the virtual server now on this back end. So to kind of flow through this whole thing, if, country, if, if a client from country one comes in, we're going to look at their source IP, find out based on the country code that they're from that country, and then we're going to use the virtual command to say virtual VS country one, which has AFM policy country one tied to it, and once, so, so not only are they going to have to go through the basics of the AFM policy that's connected to the front door virtual server that everybody, it's kind of those generic, um, you know, um, firewall policy stuff that you want everyone to go through. They're, they're going to pass that. Then they're also going to hit the stuff that is specific to, you know, the country one um, source IP address stuff that you have, that you want to configure. And then once they pass that, then they can get into the back end web application. So... That's the overall idea of how we, how we made this work and, uh, and how, you can, how you can take the geolocation of the source country and pass them to a specific AFM policy, but then ultimately everybody that's coming in accesses the same backend web application. Um, so you can do some of this, some of this geolocation stuff. You can actually do it on the AFM policy itself. But if you have different teams that maybe manage this AFM policy for this country, or maybe you know you have a different team managing for this or whatever, and the teams are kind of spread out, and you want to be you want each team to be able to do things independently, then this could be a good solution for uh, for what you have to do. So um, hopefully you've learned a couple of things based on geolocation, some things you can do with I rules. I rules are always very powerful, um, and then uh, you know how you can how you can apply different AFM policies. Uh, based on geolocation. So thanks for uh, hanging in there with us today on this Lightboard lesson video, and we will see you guys out there in the community.